Hello everyone. It's great to have you back on our channel. Today, we are diving into the world of AWS security. Whether you are just starting out or have some experience under your belt, we've got a set of common AWS security questions that you might encounter in interviews. It's the perfect opportunity to sharpen those AWS security skills. Ready to dive in? Let's get started. The first question is, what is AWS RDS? The answer is, Amazon RDS is a managed relational database service that provides organizations with a fully managed database in the cloud. Amazon Aurora, MariaDB, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle, and PostgreSQL are just six of the database engines it supports. A relational database refers to a specific type of database that organizes data into tables consisting of rows and columns. Amazon RDS offers a reliable and affordable relational database solution designed to meet industry standards. With the ability to adjust its capacity according to your needs, it ensures cost efficiency. The next question is, Name the database types in RDS. The answer is, following are the types of databases in RDS. MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, Aurora, Oracle, and MariaDB, etc. The next question is, what is DynamoDB? The answer is, DynamoDB is a NoSQL database offered by Amazon Web Services. For companies that need effective data management solutions, it is made to offer great performance and scalability. Unlike conventional relational databases, DynamoDB uses a non-relational data paradigm, enabling more adaptable and scalable data storage. The next question is, what are the managed database services provided by AWS? The answer is, AWS provides a range of managed database services that handle administrative tasks, such as backups, software patching, scaling, and infrastructure management. The key managed database services offered by AWS are Amazon RDS, Amazon Aurora, Amazon DynamoDB, Amazon DocumentDB, Amazon Napertune, Amazon Elasticash, and Amazon Redshift. The next question is, what is Redshift Spectrum? The answer is, Amazon Redshift Spectrum is a feature of Amazon Redshift, the fully managed data warehousing service offered by AWS. Redshift Spectrum enables you to query data directly from Amazon S3 the cloud storage service without the need to load or move the data into Redshift tables. It combines the power and scalability of Redshift with the flexibility and cost effectiveness of storing data in S3. The next question is, what is the Amazon Elasticash? The answer is, Amazon Elasticash is a fully managed, in-memory caching service provided by AWS. It is designed to enhance the performance and scalability of applications by seamlessly integrating with popular open-source in-memory engines like Redis and Memcached. Elasticash simplifies the deployment, operation, and scaling of a caching layer, allowing applications to retrieve frequently accessed data quickly and reduce the load on backend databases or other data stores. The next question is, when will you prefer to use provisioned IOPS over normal RDS storage? The answer is, provisioned IOPS, input-output operations per second, is a feature available for Amazon RDS relational database service that allows you to allocate a specific amount of IOPS to your database storage. Provisioned IOPS is the preferred choice over normal RDS storage for batch-oriented workloads. When dealing with batch processing tasks, which involve large data sets and complex operations, 
provisioned IOPS offers predictable and consistent IO performance. The next question is, how do Amazon RDS, DynamoDB and Redshift differ from each other? The answer is, Amazon RDS is ideal for traditional SQL-based relational databases, DynamoDB excels in handling flexible and scalable NoSQL workloads, while Redshift is specifically tailored for data warehousing and analytical use cases. The choice between these services depends on factors like data model requirements, scalability needs, performance expectations, and the nature of your application or workload. The next question is, what is the purpose of standby RDS instance? The answer is, the purpose of a standby RDS, relational database service, instance is to provide high availability and fault tolerance for your database. A standby instance serves as a backup or replica of the primary RDS instance and is ready to take over in the event of a failure or during maintenance activities. The last question is, what is an Elasticash cluster? The answer is, Elasticash clusters are designed to improve application performance by providing a distributed, scalable, and highly available caching layer. They enable applications to retrieve frequently accessed data quickly, reducing the load on backend databases or other data sources. The specific configuration and size of an Elasticash cluster can be customized to meet the needs of your application's caching requirements. Thanks for going through the Amazon database interview questions and answers with us. Your time and engagement mean a lot. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and stay tuned for more content. We appreciate your support.